People always ask me, so you're Jewish? What does that mean? Are your parents from Israel? Do you speak Hebrew? Oh, and wait, do you celebrate Christmas? Well, let me tell you, it's complicated. I was raised in a reformed Jewish family, meaning we interpreted the laws of Judaism as a suggested guideline rather than a strict set of rules. Yes, we wore those funny round hats. No, I do not have those curly sideburns. And no, I don't celebrate Christmas, but yes, I do celebrate Hanukkah. In October 2010, I traveled nearly 7,500 miles to the Holy Land of Israel to find answers to some of my own questions. Questions like, what's the difference between Israel and Palestine? And, what if I'm culturally Jewish but not very religious? Is that okay? You can actually see the Israel forward station. Do you see right on the top of the mountain? It's very clear today. You can see like an army base. You can see like a little tower. Do you see that? So, so that's basically the front line of Israel. That's the far, as far north and as far east as you can go in Israel. That was captured in a very difficult battle as part of the 1967 war. The trip was sponsored by Taglit Birthright Israel, an organization that sends Jewish young adults from all over the world to Israel, usually for the first time. The only requirements to apply are that one parent is Jewish and you're between 18 and 26 years old. So I went traveling with about 20 American Jews from LA and a half dozen Israelis of the same age group. The goal? To strengthen my Jewish identity and understand my personal connection to the Jewish people and homeland. We traversed the tiny country in a private charter bus for 10 days, never driving more than a few hours at a time. You see, Israel is not much bigger than the size of New Jersey. We started in the north in a region known as the Golan Heights, then made our way south to Sfat, Tel Aviv, and Jerusalem. We even stayed a night in the Negev Desert, where we rode camels and learned about a native people known as the Bedouins. It felt like a giant school vacation. Days were filled with education and outdoor activities, with plenty of time to relax at night. Uh, speaking, speaking Hebrew, yeah. Okay, okay. Make him. Make him. What did you just say? <laughs> you just, I, I said you're a nice guy. <laughs> I like you. There was hiking near the border of Syria, swimming in the Dead Sea, shopping in downtown Tel Aviv, and of course, a visit to the Western Wall in Jerusalem the most sacred site in Judaism. But even in the Jewish state, things are far from simple. 
A majority of Israelis are Jewish, but a quarter are Arabs, many of them Muslim. Turns out the country is promised land to two very different people. Many Arabs in the Middle East believe Israel is their holy land, Palestine. It's easy to see how everything in this country is a debate, and how a compromise is so hard to create. On a personal level, I learned that in Israel, just like in America, there are all kinds of Jews. The religious and the secular, the conservative and the liberal. There are beards and black hats, but the majority of the people are just more like you and me. So, am I more Jewish now that I've returned? Hard to say, but what I can say is that I am paying attention. Shalom.